Hey, thanks for taking the time to join us right here on Polk Place. Joining me in studio uh, from the Polk History Center, Jamie Jameson. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Happy New Year. Yeah. How's that going for you? Going pretty good. You know, the New Year um, is a really fun time in Bartow because the weather cooperates with us so we can go outside and do all sorts of fun things. Yeah. yeah. Always, a, always a good day to... Uh, take a walk and not play golf. <laughs> right, yes. Because golf yes. is nothing more than a good walk gone bad. Oh, yeah. That explains why I've never played because I'm not, I'm not about the, yeah, you know, me be a lot of happy Gilmore situation yeah. going on. <laughs> why can't you just get right. in the goal? Be a lot of throwing of the golf clubs, probably. It's not my. Not but my no speed. throwing of the golf clubs at the Polk History Center, is there? No, they are nicely displayed in the cases so you can learn all about sports and leisure in Polk County. <laughs> Very cool. So, what do we got coming up for February? Well, February, of course, is um, Black History Month. So, we have a a lot of programming that we're going to be focusing on the unique stories of black pioneers in Polk County. The very first of which we're really excited about. On February 4th, uh, which is Saturday at 11 a.m., we are doing our inaugural tour of the historic black cemetery in Bartow. Mm -hmm. um, and it's actually two cemeteries. It's Evergreen and Palm Cemeteries. And this is the oldest continuously maintained black cemetery in Bartow, or in Polk County. Mm -hmm. And it's home to former enslaved persons, people who served in World War I, um, World War II, Spanish-American War, Korea, and there's just some really great narratives that we're going to introduce some people that you might not know or be familiar with. That sounds like fun. Yes, it is. And it's outside, and the weather is going to cooperate. I already wrote a letter so to Dennis Phillips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Dennis. I, I love used to work over in Tampa. He was one of my favorite people. He's great. I love him. Um, so when you do these tours, yes. is that a walking tour? It is. It is how a walking tour. How close is it to how to or from? Uh, so normally when we do the Oak Hill Cemetery tour, we walk from the History Center because it's only about a mile. Yeah. But um, Evergreen and Palm Cemeteries are out off of West Main Street on 60. So we're going to drive and we're going to ask people to enter the cemetery just right off of 60. So if you're coming down through Bartow um, Van Fleet and you come in right like you're going to Mulberry, you'll make a slight right into the cemetery and then that way we'll be able to direct you out to the light when you leave because I don't think anybody wants to cross 60 without a traffic light. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, once we get in there, it is a foot tour. Um, so you'll need to be able to walk and you'll want to wear comfortable shoes. Um, there is a lot of shade. There are a lot of oak trees yep. and that sort of thing there. Um, but I would definitely bring some water too to have as we walk through. And of course, a camera. Um, you talk about vistas and views that are just typical of old Florida. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely beautiful in the cemetery. So what else is on the agenda for February? Well, February is a big month in Bartow because it's sci-fi Bartow. Yep. So we want to make sure that um, everybody knows that we have an architectural tour that day. So if you are planning to attend the architectural tour, um, just expect a few more crowds in mm -hmm. downtown Bartow. But the good news no. then is and, you can And bring go, your camera. <laughs> bring your camera, yeah. <laughs> and your costume, you know, do a quick change like yeah, Superman. Exactly. Um, and it's a really great day in Bartow. I mean, you can start off with some local Polk County history and then just jump into some fun comic memorabilia Star Wars action. It's yeah. just, it's fantastic. And uh, Bartholomew, our curator who does the architectural tour, is um, introducing some first person narrative where he is going to dress like E.C. Hosford, who was the architect that built uh, or designed the building and talk in a little bit from his perspective. So it's going to be a little bit different than it's been, but we're looking forward to it. Tours with him are always so cool. Oh yeah, <laughs> and you know what's great about him is we said, oh, we want you to dress like someone from the 1900s, and he was like, I already got the outfit. Got it, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He already had the bowler hat, yeah. so he's ready to go. Yeah. But, um, and then that will be followed up programming-wise with Preston's, um, the curators uh, in the Research and Historical Library Genealogy Speaker Series. Yep. And this month, it's going to focus specifically on tracking records dealing with um, black history and black families. And the presenter is going to show you the steps that she used to trace a family um, from 1950s, so they're in the, the modern area, all the way back to the period of enslavement. So it's a fascinating um, and very useful program um, when you're talking about how do you get through those records of documents. And the cool thing about it, 
Preston's coming in the studio to uh, cut a show with us. Uh, we're going to have him in a little bit more. So we'll be able to get a little bit more in depth when it oh, comes yes. to genealogy. So. Yep, and he'll be able to tell you. I think he'll be able to give you a preview of the next couple months, exactly. too, so you can get out your genealogy calendar. Uh, this one is being offered hybrid, though. So since the first time since... Um, 2020, we're going to have an in-person program for the Genealogy Speaker Series. It's hybrid. The presenter is still virtual because when you're talking about this topic area, there's just not enough local people to yeah. keep bringing in yep. fresh stories and new ideas. But we're encouraging people to come to the History Center to view the program, and then they can kind of chat with each other and yep. say, oh, I have a problem with this. Oh, I, you know, I figured out how to do that. Let me show you. So we're really excited about that. So now I have three people from the History Center that I've interviewed, and Ooh. there will be a secret ranking, a top three, oh. and I will be taking Doe, Ray, me, Cash, Wampum, Dead Presidents, you know, uh, oh. to, to get one of you three to the top of my favorite interview. So Listen, I have pass some... Pass that along. <laughs> <laughs> I have some Lyra, which is, oh, which hey, is very, it works you know, well. it's, it's yeah. very rare now yeah, because yeah, they went exactly. to the Euro. Euro. So, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think I have I, some Lyra. I have, like, Jetonis. Those are the little, oh. the, it's like two on the front, one and a slide in the back, and used them in the phone. They're I got nice. a couple of those, and I think I got some change. Yeah. How did I told you? The outfit looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I am in desperate need of Garanimals for adults. <laughs> <laughs> when I put on the shirt with the coat, I always have to find somebody in the office that goes, does this go with this? This is match. Granimals, so much easier when you were a child. It is, and uh, it, it is easier. However, my, my husband still asked me to pick out the outfit for yeah, our son see? because he's not sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got a cat at home. He looks at me, he's oh. like, no. <laughs> but, yeah. he, goes, he goes, you know what goes well with that? Cat hair. <laughs> Let me show you, but you know, or you could come over to the History Center, check out some of our gents clothing that is on display. Mm. Yeah, some baseball uniforms. I don't know if you could wear that to work, mm. but they're pretty snazzy. Or Hank, our tourist, yeah. in the Leisure Gallery, he's got him some socks and sandals and some shorts and a, a Hawaiian print Detroit Tiger shirt. That is very cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl, will you come back and see me again, and we will talk about March next month. I will. Month. We're looking forward to it. All right. Thanks Thank for you. your time. Polk County has a rich history and heritage, and the Polk County History Center is continuously thinking of new ways to help Polk residents experience that history. The museum's collection includes natural and cultural objects related to Polk and the greater central Florida area that represent our history from pre-Columbian to present day eras. The artifacts on display at the museum represent individuals, cultural groups, and events significant to the region. Located at 100 East Main Street in Bartow, History Center is open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. You need more information on exhibits, events, or how you can check out anything there? Look them up on the web, polkhistorycenter.org, or give them a call, 863-534-4386.